Tonight, sweeping medical and engineering research at the Cleveland Veterans Administration Medical Center is making major inroads for amputees throughout the world. It is research by the VA and Case Western Reserve University into a prosthetic, an artificial hand which can move and actually feel. No place in the world is doing what researchers are doing here in Cleveland. The human hand, a wonderful body part which enables its owners to grab and hold and touch. We have facial expressions, but when you shake somebody's hand, when you touch them on the shoulder, it's that connection that makes us, you know, together. It makes us uh, connected. But if the hand is gone, so too is part of the sense of touch. A lot of people take it for granted. Until you lose it, you don't know what it is that you're missing. Igor Spedek of Cleveland is the center of research on a prosthetic hand which could change lives of amputees. Spedek, whose hand was severed in an industrial accident, is central to research at the Center for Excellence in Functional Electrical Stimulation at the Cleveland Lewis Stokes VA Medical Center. Researchers are wiring the sense of touch into an artificial hand. Igor Spedek actually feels what these artificial fingers are touching. Which one's he touching right now? My index finger. And that's my middle finger. And that's my thumb. It's my thumb. The first time when we turned stimulation on, his comment that stuck with me is he says, wow, that's the first time I felt my hand since the injury. One of a kind research at the Cleveland VA Medical Center will have major ramifications for military service members or anyone who has lost a hand. If we do that, you feel that. I feel that. I feel it in all five locations. Feels good, huh? Yes, it feels like my hand. It feels like your hand's tingling, but it does feel good. <laughs> this research reaches even beyond the hand. Biomedical engineers work with paralyzed victims, searching for detour routes around physical roadblocks. We essentially go around the spinal cord and try to reconnect the brain of the person with spinal cord injury to their limb, which was previously paralyzed. But it is the hand pointing the way. Implanted wires connect the prosthesis to Igor's nerves. Electrical stimulus turned off, the prosthetic hand is, in Igor's words, simply a tool. But with stimulus on, a prosthesis comes to life as a hand with touch. It's given me a sense of purpose. I can feel my hand back that's been missing. I will tell you, Lee, that with this prosthetic hand, this hand that actually, that he can move, he can actually feel with that, and, and Igor tells his, his prosthetic hand, when, this, when the, when the uh, electricity is turned on, he tells it like we all tell our hand, by the brain, through the nerve system, to move and pick up and do what he wants to do. One day, the wires are going to be hidden inside the prosthesis, and you won't see the wires, and he will walk hand in hand with his wife, her hand in his, oh, and he feeling her touch. Wonderful. And just, I mean, wow. Kind of mind-boggling, really, but life-changing. Life-changing, worldwide life-changing, only in Cleveland. Yeah. Leon, thank you. Yeah.